you by the law office of Domingo Garcia. 2019 is quickly coming to a close. It's, you know, the hardest part is going to be remembering to put 2020 on the date. I, I think the first it, month is always so hard. Oh, we have like almost two hours now until 2020. So <laughs> yeah. just go and start practicing. Right. Yeah, I need to practice. In the meantime, though, yes. we've been reflecting we on been. the past year, and you do have some incredible sports stories you've been telling us about. Yeah, so taking a look at our number one story, actually, as we ring in the new year, we're going to count down those top st sports stories from 2019. And on this final day of 2019, we're finally down to our number one sports story of the year. However, this one isn't necessarily just one story, but many of them put together. At the very end of August, August, seven people were killed and nearly two dozen injured in a mass shooting in Odessa. After the tragic shooting, the community, state, and nation responded, including sports teams here in our area. El Paso Franklin and Permian both supported one another prior to their game. And the Odessa High Girls Basketball Program decorated a tree outside of the school to honor their former teammate, Layla Hernandez, one of the victims of the shooting. The Fort Stockton football players wore Hernandez's name on their helmets, and Permian played South Lake Carroll later in the season, and the Carroll Tree Leaders sold shirts to raise money for the victims' families. They love to give back, and so we had a couple of girls call me, and we decided, oh my gosh, this is a great opportunity to give back, and it hit really close to home because these girls are going to play Odessa in a couple of weeks. We actually had a couple of girls get together and start the design that you see of the T-shirt, and they actually did point-to-point -point with Odessa and South Lake as being one so that we are one with Odessa. They raised $21,000 from that uh, fundraiser, by the way. Now, if you miss any of the other stories from the past few days, you can find all of them on our website, yourbasin.com, under the local sports tab.